ready, guys? Laurie, no possession early. It was obviously going to be very difficult. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was always going to be a, a difficult night, Dean. Um, obviously, um, you, know, you need some things to go your way. It didn't happen. Queensland were just too good. That's what happens sometimes at Origin. You knew they were going to come out fast. Did you expect it to be that fast and that quick? Oh, when you got that much possession, most definitely. Um, um, you know, it's hard to contain great players. Um, you know, they were full of enthusiasm. Um, too good. No excuses. Sorry, why was the start, start so slow for you both? Because you started so well game one, you got it right. What, what can you put your finger on here? Oh, look, we had no possession. Um, I think when you have no possession, um, it uh, makes you fatigue. Um, so for us, as I say, yeah, it's a tough game. No excuses. We move on. We, we've earned, well, we, we've earned the right to, to go to game three. We had a good performance in game one. Um, we're off our game tonight, a touch, but um, the opposition were very good. So full credit to them. What do you think of the same meetings? Um, I can't give you an honest answer. Is there no I can't give you an honest answer. Is the silent majority being ignored here, Laurie? Are, are the fans being ignored? Can't give you an honest answer. What, what about the um, the early decisions in the first ten minutes? Um, the Jennings' decision on, on first of the kick. When he was penalised for a late challenge. But, uh, no excuses from us. Okay, but in the context of that opening onslaught, was that a big penalty? Oh, look, I could go through a number of things and nitpick, but it's not what we're about. Laurie? We um, congratulate the winners. We move forward. If they're going to see me blokes for throwing punches, could Billy have gone for his elbow to Mitchell? Striking. Uh, Mitchell's going to receive some stitches. And I know that Greg Bird <coughs> was sin bin for not throwing a punch. <laughs> Gail, what's your take on it? It's embarrassing, really, isn't it? I mean, you know, I said out there on the field, I didn't see if Justin Hodges threw punches, but this game's been so great for 108 years to come and change it. And probably longer than 108 years, I don't know. But Origin's been around, it's been a tough game, you know. No one goes out there to fight, but sometimes they're the bit of the X factor in the game. And look, the, to be honest, the penalty should have been blown against Brent Tate for pushing me out of the ruck, and that should have been where it ended. But, um, I don't anyway. know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the bus won't get stuck on the way out. <laughs> hey, look, it's just, it's just the way it is now. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with it, but, but it's it's, um, it's certainly going to be a talking point. I, I don't think Hodges or Birdie should have been Symbian, like I said. I didn't see if Hodges threw a punch. I don't think he threw a punch. Yeah, I'm not sure. If, 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 if you're going to go by the letter of the law as it is now, probably Mez is the only one who should have got Symbian. Everyone knew, knew what the edict was. As soon as Trent threw those punches, you must have known things. Yeah, look, I, at, at first, like, like I said, Tate pushed me and I, I didn't actually see him throw punches and they were sort of just grabbing each other, so it was just a bit of a melee grabbing each other and then obviously when, when it all blew up, yeah. um, I, I think, saw on the replay. I think what happened was, um, you know, it was played in great spirit and then um, I think our boys got a bit rolled because um, Mitch copped the, uh, something off Billy uh, that went... went um, not unnoticed, but um, nothing happened. Did, did you give them any instructions before the game about not getting... You know, oh, no, we just spoke about being discippled. Are you disappointed in, in Trent Merrin? No. You that you that was resolved? No, 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 no. I thought he was great tonight for us, miss. But he's going to let you with 12 on Could have done. Billy could have left them with 12 on 13 as well when we were down in the attacking zone and we were coming back, so... No one goes out there intentionally to fight. So I, I don't know who makes that up. I don't know whether it's coming from from whoever, but it happens. It's a tough sport, and things things can go astray. And you know, I just know that no one goes out there to, to fight. If they did, it'd be on in the first tackle. Boy, this is what we all feel. This will happen. Where do we go with it now? I would like to see them reconsider. But again, you know, um, 
it's not for me to to uh, make those rules. That's for um, others. Forward is one of the positives for you tonight that you didn't throw a punch. <laughs> not yet, anyway. <laughs> I never go out there to throw a punch, but I've never gone in a single game of footy to have a fight. Kel, what was the first 20 minutes like? Yeah, look, that, they started 100 miles an hour. We, we knew they would. Um, and like I said, you've got to give credit where credit's due. And they were, they were too fast for us. They had you know, the rub of the green, I suppose, with a few calls. But we knew that was going to happen. That nothing happened in that first 20 that we didn't expect. Uh, except that we couldn't go set for set with them. And obviously they got a couple of tries. So um, we just got to regroup and get back to Sydney. When you say that was always going to happen with them getting the rub of the green, is that from previous experience up here that you just... Yeah, looking at their home soil and we won game one and there was plenty of talk in the media about referees and, you know, we knew that. Look, everyone wants to see a decider, don't they? Now they've got a decider, so we go back to Sydney, one all, and um, yeah, well, look, we're just going to regroup, stay positive. You know, they, they I think they had nine, was it nine extra sets yeah. of six by half time, so in, in good ball area. So to come in 14 nil down, we're probably not in too bad a position. Is there a suggestion at all? Everyone wants to see a decider that that extends beyond the fans. No, 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 no. Cal, when did you feel the game go past that tipping point that you're just giving up too much possession and there's too much going against you as far as the ball and all that? Um, pro uh but to be honest, I thought that the last 20 minutes, I think they get to about 20 nil with 20 minutes to go, possibly. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought that we really had to start picking it up then, and we did a little bit, and then we got back to 20 to six. But oh, look, we just we just went ourselves tonight. Let's let's be honest. They were too good for us. They were faster than us in every area, and you know, I could sit here and make excuses all night, but but we won't. We just we weren't good enough. What do you do differently in game three to change that then? I mean, you say you came here, you knew what they are going to do, but you couldn't change it. How do you reverse the form in game three? Well, you've got to get some ball. Yeah. You've got to get some ball. And um, if you trade sets, um, we're confident they'll go well. Right, so Nathan, Nathan Merritt um, just quickly had a tough night. He came in in defence twice. Was that the plan to jam yep. Greg Eagles? Yep. What it wasn't Nathan's fault. Which was, was us, was me. What was um, Luke Lewis in his, in his shoulder? Laurie seemed to carry it a bit there in the second half. Did you know what? Oh, I think it was just a burner. Yeah. I don't think it was too serious. I think we pulled up all right, actually. I don't think we received too many injuries. So, um, you know, we may have a couple of guys coming back for game three. So, there you go. Laurie, you make it for the other deputy position. Is Nathan's position safe for the game three, Nathan Merrick? Oh, it's a hard question, Marky. First up, I mean, you got to go and review things, and we don't know who's coming back. Um, um, obviously, you know, we'd like to think that, that Jared will come back in, and you know, Jimmy Tamo will be around the money. We don't know what's happened with Fergo, so. Um, but I was, I was happy with with the commitment of our goals. Um, I think at times people don't give uh, a team big enough credit for their effort, um, even though on the scoreboard it, it might have looked um, looked uh, one way traffic in the first half, but be, to be only be down by 14, that's a, that's a good effort. I think at one stage there we were six sets in a row on our line. Um, I think if you do that, uh, you take the gas out of the opposition, and but you know, they played with control and you know, they're, they're a great side, they don't want to relinquish their title. We got no complaints, they were great. Laurie, how much did it worry you that they were much like Queensland in the past seven years tonight than they were in game one? Because oh yeah, but we weren't anything like what New South Wales can be in game one this year. So that's irrelevant. Mate, for, for me, I know what this team can do. I know we can play a lot better. Um, so we'll see how we go in game three, I suppose. What did you make of the other debut on Florida? Uh, the Woodsy was good. Um, Aaron Woods is a great runner of the footy. I'm not saying he can't can't tackle, but his opening 15, 20 minutes was all about defence. So he couldn't really give us a, a great opportunity of what he can do with the ball. And again, that's origin. Uh, look, it's it's a tough game. Uh, you got to dust yourself off, and we'll, we'll move on. As I say, we full full uh, credit to Queensland. They were too good. We cop it on the chin. We move on. And we'll be ready to go game three. You find a place for Josh Durgan game three? I thought he's very good. I thought he's very good. So 
Uh, again, you know, it's something that we'll have to consider. You know, Haynes has been a strong performer in different positions for New South Wales. Um, so if he comes back, we'll see. Um, too early to sort of speculate on um, changes. And, and to be honest with you, I don't think there'll be too many. I'm confident in this group. And got plenty of belief. Um, we played well in game one. It wasn't our night tonight, so... I think everyone's looking forward to game three. Oh, did you think the last was a bit shorter tonight than perhaps what was in Sydney? Oh. Oh, mate, no. Mate, I'm not here to make excuses, mate. You know, we we didn't play well enough. Um, so for us, we, we, as I say, we, we moved forward. We'll be right. Thanks, guys.